one of the family already. How Meghan charmed the royals by pulling a cracker with Charles, donning a paper hat and reading out a corny joke as she joined her future in-laws for the Queen's traditional Christmas lunch. Meghan Markle passed her first major test as a member of the royal family yesterday, by pulling a cracker with future father-in-law, Prince Charles, donning a paper hat and reading out a corny joke. Prince Harry's fiancée was a guest at the Queen's annual Christmas lunch at Buckingham Palace, where she was introduced to almost every member of the monarch's extended family. According to an insider, she appeared slightly nervous initially but soon began to dazzle, with relatives queuing up to meet the prince's glamorous bride-to-be for the first time. Fortunately for the U.S.-born actress, who will no doubt attend her inaugural state banquet next year, these lunches are designed to be fun, not formal. Everyone wanted to meet Meghan and welcome her to the family and she didn't disappoint, they told the mail. She was obviously a bit nervous at first but she soon relaxed with Prince Harry's help as he introduced her to everyone and then she really enjoyed it. Harry was clearly very happy and very proud of her and everyone thought she was delightful. It was your typical Christmas lunch in spite of who was there, turkey, crackers. The lot, the actress has followed in the footsteps of the Duchess of Cambridge who made the guest list for the first time in 2010, as Prince William's then fiancé, in securing an invitation to the event ahead of her marriage to Prince Harry next May. However, unlike Kate, Meghan will also join her husband to be at the Queen's Sandringham Estate on December 25, an unprecedented step for someone who is yet to become an official member of the royal family. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend Christmas at Sandringham until she and William were man and wife, although Harry's immediate family has already had the chance to get to know his bride-to-be, Meghan met much of the extended clan for the first time today at the Queen's Christmas get-together. A cherished royal tradition, the lunch at the palace provides the monarch with the opportunity to spend time with those relatives who don't join her at the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk on the 25th as well as close members of the family. And it seems that Meghan's debut, which comes after she wowed crowds when she joined Prince Harry on a public walkabout in Nottingham following their engagement announcement, was a success, with the 36-year-old unable to wipe the smile from her face as she left the palace at around 3.30 p.m. The actress was pictured smiling and flashing her dazzling engagement ring as her fiancé drove her back to their home at Kensington Palace following the festive lunch. Also at the lunch today were the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children, who will travel to Norfolk for further celebrations, as were Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. For the likes of the Queen's cousin Prince Michael of Kent, or his son Lord Frederick Windsor, today's lunch could well have been their first meeting with their new, and already most famous, family member. Today marked the start of the whirlwind of events that will make up Meghan's first royal Christmas, which will also see her join her soon-to-be in-laws as they walk to the Christmas Day church service on the Sandringham estate, and being hosted by the monarch for a turkey lunch. On Wednesday Meghan was whisked to the palace by her prince, who drove them to the event in a Land Rover Discovery. The bride-to-be opted for a £300 high-necked lace dress from self-portrait for the festive lunch, accessorized with a pair of diamond drop earrings. Among the first to arrive at the palace were the Cambridges, with Prince William driving, pregnant Kate in the passenger seat, and George and Charlotte in the back with their nanny, Maria Barallo. Autumn Phillips the wife of Peter Phillips seen at the wheel of the vehicle as one of today's earliest arrivals. Eagle-eyed royal fans may have been able to spot her daughter Isla Phillips, who appeared to be in an excitable mood ahead of Christmas. Unusually Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, husband of Princess Anne, chose to walk to the event doing away with cars like his fellow royals. Members of the extended family in attendance included the Queen's cousin Prince Michael of Kent who arrived with his daughter Lady Gabriella Windsor and his wife Princess Michael, who looked typically glamorous. It seems there were plenty of youngsters to keep Charlotte and George company on Wednesday with Lord Frederick Windsor arriving with his two children Freddie, and Maud, who attends the same Battersea school as George. It seems that Meghan is being well and truly welcomed into the royal family after it was confirmed that she will join them for celebrations in Sandringham over Christmas. The star, 36, 
will spend the festive period at Her Majesty's private estate in Norfolk even though Kate Middleton was only asked after she walked down the aisle with Prince William in 2011. The Queen's invitation to the U.S.-born actress is further evidence of the royal family's warm welcome for her ahead of the couple's May wedding at Windsor Castle. Meghan, who will take British citizenship and get baptized by the Church of England before the wedding, will also attend the Christmas Day service at St. Mary Magdalene Church, Sandringham. She and Harry, 33, who are now living together in a two-bed cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace, will also take part in the traditional walk to Mass by the entire royal family. Confirming the news today a Kensington Palace spokesman said, You can expect to see the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and Ms. Marcolette Sandringham on Christmas Day.